Hello everyone, I'm Kibitz, and welcome to a new game called V Rising. A survival base building game similar to Valheim and Rust, except here we harvest blood, cause we're vampires. So we'll create a giant vampiric fortress, and then start harvesting all the villages around us. So essentially Taxman Simulator the game. And that sounds like a great time to me. So if you're excited for this, remember to leave a like, and let's get started. I want to get to start with some character creation. Fun, 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 fun. Well, looks pretty good so far, faces. Oh, Mr. Smiley. <laughs> oh, no, that's the real Mr. Smiley. Okay. Oh, geez, our Skeletor here. Where's your nose? Well, I think we're going to keep with the smiley face. I like it. So happy to collect taxes. Let's give him some hair. And going through all these, we need something that looks professional. We're going on business, right? So I think the classic slicked back look will do as well. Different eye colors as well. Well, we're looking for money, so obviously our eyes are going to be green. And extra features. Oh, we can have a, <laughs> a mustache on our teeth. Heck yeah, brother. Oh, what the heck is that? It's like a fake jaw. It's kind of neat. Uh, but I kind of like the mustaches and stuff. Should we change our face? Yeah, I think we do. We're going to be this guy instead. Nah, Mr. Smiley's so happy. And a good demeanor makes people more compliant. So let's go with that. And obviously, their name is Taxes. Good. Let's begin. Alright, and lore-wise, apparently vampires used to rule the world, then they got freaking beat the heck up. But now we rise again! Collect our dues. Pop down kind of jazz, alright. Tutorial area. Cool. You having a slumber party in here? Anybody else around? Nope, they dead. Alright then, let's get out of here. See what's going on. So it looks like the combat's kind of like an MMO type game. We have like a dash. We have, what's this, R? Fireball type thing, gotcha. And C is, I think I moved and I ruined it. Whoops, we try it again. I don't know what's going on there, man. I'm sure we'll figure it out. Oh, and claim, okay. We get stuff and we unlock things to craft. Gotcha. Let's get a sword. I'm not as much of a Neanderthal. Yeah, it looks like the beginning of this game is just getting our clothes back on. Okay, and now we're going to the woods. Oh, this is the world? That's a huge world. What the heck, dude? Uh, we get to pick where we start. East Farabine Woods or the West. Okay, wow. Pretty neat old world. Wonder what's there? A boss fight? Probably. I don't really care. Just want to set up like a castle. I'm sure this is all just more tutorial stuff for a little while. Where are my humans? I want to harvest. Give me flesh. I'm a freaking vampire. I haven't even had a drip of blood. This squirrel. Wait, Bambi? Come on. Come on. Consume Bambi. Yes, eat it. Delicious. Thank you for your heart and skin. And what's that? Teleporter. Not teleport while carrying resources. Okay. Didn't want to anyway. And then I guess I'll just set up the rest of my equipment. Wait! Human. Hey, what's going on, bud? Would you like a fireball thing? Yes. Feed off the human? It's been eons. Give me your tax dollars. Delicious. And blood type changed. I wonder what that means. Oh gosh, wait. It's the squad. Are you kidding me? I think I'm not gonna fight you guys? What if I feed and get attacked while I'm feeding? I take a mongo amount of damage. Gotcha. Let's not do that again. And then consume his soul. Delicious. I hope he had vitamin C. Sun is rising. Doesn't sound good. But I got clothes on now, so <laughs> hey, that's not the worst. Okay, cut down trees, bone axe. All right, more of this. Gotcha, gotcha. Wait. Oh, yeah, I guess it makes sense. We're cutting down trees. I don't know. We're a vampire, though. thought we are above this. Also, how are we alive in the sunlight? I thought that's like death. Oh my gosh, it is death. The sun is a deadly laser. It's come true. Do it. Oh, jeez. Okay, I regret that. Just chill in the shade. Collect taxes at night. I think that's going to be the play from now on. All right, and with the trees, though, now we're collecting rocks. Of course we are. Oh, gosh. Wait, the sun is moving in the sky. So the shade is not always safe. It's actually kind of cool. Beware the deadly laser. Ah, but we got tech now. We can make our own castle. Construct and interact with Castle Heart. Expand your territory by making borders. Okay, 
cool. How would we build our castle? Oh, I press B and we can make the castle heart, the heart of your domain. As long as it contains a blood essence, it will power your castle and keep it from decaying. You can expand your territory with borders and floors originating from the heart. If the heart is destroyed, your entire castle crumbles. Oh, that's kind of cool. Dude, that's sick. And we can have two castles, it looks like. And then we expand our borders with that. And everything takes, like, blood essence. So we have to find victims for our castle. Hey, catch. <laughs> I will use your blood as fuel, sir. And then, where do we want to build? I guess we can technically build, like, anywhere. Pretty amazing, actually. We could build maybe here, build a castle there. I think to start, we're gonna build a castle here on this island. I think that would be really cool. Since we get like two castles, I think a centralized one would be best, no? Yeah, let's try that out. Could be a journey, but it'll be fine. Plus, as we run along, I can gather resources, and then when we get there, we'll be able to build a ton. Oh, wait. No, we're, there's no way we're getting there. I'm noticing the enemies are getting way stronger. And I'm gonna get booped if I keep going. So, backup plan. We're scooting. And actually, I think I found a even better spot. It's way in the beginning of the area here, but this is cool. Like, we could have our little main thing right at the top here. And then we could have, like, a forge area at the bottom. Yeah, let's, let's do this. Ooh, and a moose! If I drink the moose's blood, does that mean I get moose powers? I must have it. I must have the power of the moose. Yes, feed. Feed! I'm now powered by a moose. Worth. Okay, up the hill though. Yeah, this place was meant to be a castle. It already kind of has walls. Yeah, this looks like a really awesome spot. In fact, it looks like somebody tried to build a castle here before. Let's get rid of their garbage and clean up. Oh wait, hold up. I can't clean up everything. What am I talking about? The sun's gonna rise and then I'll have no shade. Let's just build now. This right up here. Third limited area, too close to another castle. What do you mean there's another castle? Oh, wait, no, we just built one. So there we go. Okay, and we can upgrade it by getting copper and leather. That's fine, let's try just expanding the borders then. Does this cost anything? Doesn't look like it. There's just a limited amount of space. Okay, well, let's just start with this for now. Claim this, and then we get walls and structures. Gotcha. Build wooden walls to keep enemies out. Chests, super important. Mitz Brazer consumes bones to make a mist that blocks out the sun. Okay, this is what we need. So let's put that in the middle for now. Active, yes. Bones, take them. Then Castle Heart, well, let's give it some freaking blood. Tax dollars at work, we good. All right, well, with this mist thing, then we can go ahead and start cleaning. All right, well, things are as clean as they're gonna be right now, and things are looking a little different too, eh? Yeah, I found out there's a setting in the game where you can actually change how many castle hearts you can build, and now we can build up to five, meaning we can have five different castles! Let's go! The terrain is a little bit different because I had to completely restart, but other than that, it's all good, all the same, and we can move on. So we need to build some palisade walls, a coffin, and a stash. Easily done. Let's get rid of the old gate and put in our new one. So gate tab. Oh, look at all this stuff we can build. It's like variations and such. Oh, let's build the door. Well, that's pretty snazzy. Oh, uh, yes. I can start to see our small little castle here. Of course, we're gonna have to expand a lot, but we'll get to that later. For now. The game wishes for more walls, so be it. Have your more walls, so don't be it, so be it. What a roller coaster of emotion. <laughs> and a coffin. Oh, please. Please tell me we can go to sleep here, right? Yeah, we can build a coffin. We can 100% sleep. That means we don't need to worry about the pesky day and, you know, burning and dying. So, super bedtime. Let's go. Go! Now we can dream about all the back taxes owing to us. Oh! But wait. Is. Wait. Time's not moving! Dude, that doesn't skip the night! That's a little annoying. Not gonna lie, but. Sh okay, sure. Anyway, let's just move on. We'll build a couple stashes. And yeah, six. Nah, let's just do nine. There we go. And good, more unlock time. Basic crafting and refinement. So we got lights, production, refinement. 
furnace. Sawmill. Oh, that's cool. Uh, blood press. Okay, you can extract a blood essence from biomaterial. I guess we are vampires. Vermin nest. And a grinder. Lots of automation to do here. The best thing about the automation, though, is soon we can get slaves to do it for us. We can convert humans into, like, zombies, essentially. And they'll work all the stuff. But right now, I guess we have to do it by hand. Unfortunately. Let's put this down there. How do you work, sir? Powered by the castle heart. Makes sense. 20 log to one plank. Okay, a little expensive. Let's get it started then. Construct and interact with a simple workbench. What are we crafting? Looks like nothing, because we have no planks. Okay, there we go. And some sawdust. Nice. That was actually kind of good, because it gave me a second to kind of look around and plan things out. But it seems we're going to have all of our production stuff, at least the starter stuff, over there. And then we can build our crafting table and things over on this side. Which is going to be super convenient. Let's go to production, crafting table. Put that off in the corner. And now what do we have to do? Increase our gear level and that levels us up. Okay. New shinies. Ooh, yeah, bud. Plated bone guard chest. Blue pants. Copper things. Oh, yeah. Gonna get to that pretty quick, I'm sure. Oh, and we can make new weapons and things, too. That would be splendid. Thank you. Okay. Blood altar. Wow, <laughs> okay. We get to build a blood altar? Now, why did we need to build this? What's the point? Uncover knowledge and new powers by drinking the blood of V blood carriers. Oh. Oh, so these are like the bosses we go around and fight. Alpha wolf. And this gives us the wolf form power, which allows us to turn into a wolf and run faster by 45%. I want to be a bat, though. Maybe later, I guess. Errol the Stonebreaker. We learned about big stashes there. Nice. Rufus! Hi, Rufus. You get us the woodworking bench. Oh, so this is kind of like a tech tree, except it's with bosses. That's kind of fun. I wonder if then there's a research table of... That even matters, then. I don't know. I guess we start by taking out the wolf. Track the blood. Off we go. Oh, but now the party is getting started. Of course the boss is going to be in the wolf den. All right. Let's see if we can handle this. It should be a level 16 boss. Apparently our gear makes us level 17. So we should kick its butt super easily. Yes. Oh, yeah. Oh, here we go. All the little friendos. Which one of you is the boss? Huh? Hello? This way? What the heck? These are just normal guys. Where's the boss? Taxes are due. Don't try and hide. Yeah, I'm pretty sure it's hiding. This is tax evasion. The hunt's on. Oh, finally. Dude, this was nowhere near the other area. But we got him. Hello. Taxes are due. And you're going to owe me more for tax evasion, you freaking fraud. I'm going to charge you with so many penalties. Only way to repay them is with your blood. Blah. Oh. By the way, figured out what that is. That's a counter. So when people attack you, you can use that and it counters them. It's crazy. <laughs> oh, no, no, sir. Oh, that leaves behind a decoy. I'm learning everything. I am becoming the smarts. Oh, but wait, I was using the wrong weapon. There's something called a spear and it's better against organic creatures. What am I doing? Go, go. Ah, <laughs> That was the play. All right. Time to pay up, brother. Give me your soul. Delicious. New V-Blood unlocked. Alpha Wolf. We got the research desk. But most importantly now, we can turn into like a wolf, right? Because I want to be running around faster. Oh, whoa, 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 whoa. There's way more than just that. Blood. Unholy illusion frost chaos Vampire powers Action wheel left control Let's other vampires drink from you. I guess it, that's a co-op thing healing ah There we go wolf form <laughs> wait emotes. It's pretty awesome big clap, but now it's wolf time 
Hey, I'm scooting. Oh no, and we really gotta scoot. It's daytime. Wait, if we're a wolf, does that mean the sunlight won't affect us? We're not like a vampire now, right? We're a vampire wolf. It's different. It's different. Right? No, 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 no! Ah! <laughs> oh geez, what the heck? There's a tree in my way. Is that tree after me? Oh my gosh! A tree and a bear? I, sir, I just want to go home. Don't mind me. You you guys do your thing. Oh, hi, bear. I see you can also teleport or something. I don't know. I just want to go home. Close the door. Okay. That was a journey. Now that we're home, though, we can construct the research desk. Splendid. Time to unlock all the fancy things, right? Oh. Wrong. We need paper. Discover a random technology. Can we craft paper? Or what if we claim this? Technology unlocked. Upgrade the castle heart. Will that get us stuff? No, we need leather and we need copper. Okay. Oh! And servant coffins! Let's go! Or, I don't know if we unlock that yet. Wait, how? No, 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 stop! Stop! We unlock everything with the blood rituals. Yes. So you big chest guy, you workshop fishing. I don't want to go fishing. You structures, tannery, leather. Okay. So I guess paper's not coming for a little bit, but we can track you. Keely the Frost Archer. But before we go after the level 20 boss, let's upgrade our gear a little bit more. You know, the bone stuff is fun, but the copper stuff looks a little bit better. Maybe like a ring and whatnot too would help. Yeah, we're gonna need the extra dams. Aw, oh, dude! I got so lucky, actually. Right outside my base is this stolen golem. I can't do nothing to him because he is way too strong. But it doesn't matter, because check this out. He has an attack that can take out all the resources. <laughs> Look at that! Imagine doing things myself. Easy. Even breaks the rocks. Thank you, mining machine. Okay, I'm back. Excellent mining session. We have copper forever and jazz. Back home right at the peak of dawn, so we can get moving. I assume there is a smelter we're gonna have to build, yeah? Also, we're gonna have to expand a bit. How do we do that again? Research dominance. Oh, fun. oh, there's tabs down here. Oh, there's so much going on. Okay, well first, expand. Exterior, universal. Ooh, gargoyles. Standard lighting. Oh, wow, there's so much fun stuff. Anyway, refinement. Quartz, we're gonna want a furnace. So let's throw you down. We'll put it down right here. It's our starter base. We might move stuff around later on. And that gave us like 57 ingots. So we're gonna be able to fully upgrade ourselves, I am sure. Then we can fight the boss, get the new shinies, and take over the world. Because I think in the blood altar, we check out that. Yeah, we can upgrade it. But we just need the leather, which we can unlock and craft if we beat that stupid archer person. Where are they? Wait, gear level two though. Oh, because all my stuff is stuck in the workbench. Uh-huh, yeah, that makes sense now. Gotcha. Let's track her down, take her out, give me the leather. Okay, and I've traveled across the world to this bandit trapper camp. And this is absolutely where the boss is gonna be. It's gonna get a little spooky though, because we are about to hit daytime. Oh no! And we're also gonna get trapped. Okay, a little spooky. But with this new copper stuff, we get super abilities. And with every different weapon, there is a new one. So like this one with the sword turns us into a freaking tornado. Just kind of eh. The axe one, a second, does that. <laughs> and it's kind of cool if it hits. And then we have like a smash attack with the mace. Hey. Good night, sir. Or oh, we're probably gonna stick with the spear for 
a little bit. It does the most damage to humanoid things. And let's be careful around here. It's gonna be a bunch of new enemies. I'm sure that's the boss, I'm certain. We gotta clear out everything we possibly can before things get crazy. Oh, that is so good. Can we snipe the friends without causing a ruckus? Oh, no, no, we cannot. Here we go. <laughs> Here we go. Let's just consume your soul. Thank you. Just the friendos are hanging out. Okay. Okay. Frost arrows. They make you go slower. Go figure. Wow. That did a lot of damage, though. Stab! Nice job. And it's daytime. We're in trouble now. Oh, but a bear got released. Freeze. Oh, and it's attacking the archer. Whoa, well, well. Is this convenient? Freeze. Oh, there's two bears! All right, but one's down. We got a little bit of HP left back. Still in the shade. Uh, can we like chill? How about that? You take that! And I'm gonna hide behind this post and heal for five seconds, okay? Okay, cool. Cool, cool, cool. Glad we had this chat. And you're stuck in a corner, eh? <laughs> that would have been perfect! Come on. Go, go, go! Yes! Damn it. Taxes do! Give me your blood! <laughs> what do we get from that? Probably frost powers, yes? Launch a frost projectile. It does magic damage. Cool! Can I just switch out my counter? Yeah, there we go. So now we have two ranged spells instead of the counter, which is way better for me because I was never using the counter anyway. Huh. <sighs> that was difficult though. Oh, more importantly, we got the leather now. Taxes collected. Now we got the leather. Da -da 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 -da. Yeah, 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 a tannery. So animal hide and planks. Well, we have a lot of planks. I think we have like 200 now. And eh, we're getting there. Got that and then hides and because I have like a angry tree outside. This guy, he kills like all the animals for me, so I just run past and grab all the materials I ever need from him, which is super convenient. So we have hides for days, for days and days and days. So we're gonna have infinite leather easily. All right, building this. Where do we build it? Over here? Yeah, it's a tannery. Sure, maybe even like up front here. Yeah. Why not? And then let me guess, we throw on this tannery stuff and it turns it into actual tan leather. After a little bit of waiting, look at this! We have everything we need to upgrade the castle heart. Not sure what this will do, but hey, of course we gotta do it. So we can have extra border space, of course. Servant coffins, awesome. So those will be our slave humans later on. And then we need iron, oh, we have to get iron to upgrade even further. Oh, and we unlocked mirrors. Don't know the big deal with that. Next would be complete a castle room by laying down floors and all that kind of jazz. Oh, right. Cool. We have fun new ice powers. Taxes have been collected. And soon we're going to have human slaves. Excellent. However, though, that's going to be all for today. So I hope you guys enjoyed and thank you for watching. And let me know in the comments below if you want to see more of this game. But anyway. Have a fantastic rest of your day, and bye bye